Hello class, another day, another lesson with me, Sorush, your teacher. Well, this is part 4A, family photo. Part 1, grammar. Everybody, look at this picture. Okay, he says, I'm not famous, but my brother is. Okay, so who do you think his brother is? And do you think it's good or bad to have a famous person in your family? Well, for the first part, speak with your friends. I'll wait. 12 seconds later. Good. Now I need you to read the article and tell me now. Do you know who Dog's brother is? And does he like having a famous brother? Well, back to you. Read and answer it. A few moments later. Awesome. Now let's read it together. Dog is a businessman and a photographer. He is also the founder of Care to Learn, an organization that helps poor children in the U.S. do well in school. He is married with three children, and he and his family have a normal life. But for many people, he is always... Whose brother? Well, you, you guessed it. Dog's life can be difficult, but follow him on the, uh, people follow him on the street. They ask him questions about his brother, his brother's ex-wife, who is also very famous, and their six children. The paparazzi follow Dog's children and take photographs. But it also has advantages. I go to movie premieres and I meet famous actors. And when I call people and ask for money for care to learn, it helps when I say I'm somebody's brother, yeah? Dog's not jealous of his older brother. brother. He's happy with his life. I see the world of famous people from the outside. I can leave it, but my brother can't. Okay, very good. So he can leave it outside, but his brother is always going to be a celebrity. Okay, so who is, who is his brother? Well, you guessed it right. His brother is the actor Brad Pitt. And yes, he likes the, having a famous brother. You got it. And now, everybody, look at some photos of actors with family with a partner. Choose A or B. Okay, so you and your friend. Okay, you can choose A or B. For example, he is Carrie Mulligan's husband or brother. Okay, try to guess it. Do it with your friends. And if you have done it, well, let's listen and check together. Let's go. 4.1 1. 1. He's Carrie Mulligan's husband. 2. She's Meryl Streep's daughter. 3. She's Jake Gyllenhaal's sister. 4. He's Will Smith's son. 5. He's Mary Kate Olson's husband. Very good, very nice. So these are some celebrities and their family. So far, so good. Everybody, possessive apostrophe S and whose. First, listen. 4.2 1. He's Brad Pitt's brother. It's James's laptop. 2. It's my parents' car. Three. Whose bag is this? It's Maria's. Four. The end of the movie is fantastic. I live near the city park. Okay, everyone. So, I know that you know it's easy. Apostrophe S. Look, he's Brad Pitt's brother. Apostrophe S. Whose brother? Brad Pitt's brother. Or it's James's laptop. Whose laptop is this? It's James's. Okay, apostrophe S. It's my parents' car. And you see, teacher is S, S apostrophe Y because look, my parents. It's a plural noun already. It already has S. So you just add apostrophe. Okay, whose bag is this? 
It's Maria's. Okay, very good. It's here means it is. Okay. And the end of the movie is fantastic. I live near the city park. Okay, so we use a person plus apostrophe S to talk about family and possessions. For example, Brad Pitt's brother. And with regular plural nouns, we just put the apostrophe after the S. It's my parents' car, as I told you. And with irregular plural nouns like children, men, we use apostrophe S. For example, the children's room, the men's clothes. Okay, we use whose to ask about possessions. For example, we can ask whose bag is this or who is this bag. Okay, and we can answer it's Maria's bag or it's Maria's. Very good. And we don't usually use a thing plus apostrophe S. For example, the end of the class, not the classes, end. Or the city park, not the city's park. So if it's a thing, we don't use apostrophe S. But be careful, look, apostrophe ha has uh, two types of uses. For example, Maria's mother, it's uh, possession. It's possessive apostrophe S, but Maria is Spanish. Maria is Spanish. And whose and whose? Whose, who is, whose of who? Who owns it? Okay, very good. It's easy. Let's practice together, me and you. Time to show me what you got. Okay. For the first exercise, look at the pictures, answer the questions with a short sentence. Okay, for example, whose laptop is this? It's Ryan's laptop. Yeah, Ryan has a laptop here. And for B, circle the correct form. Monica Cruz is Penelope's sister. Not sisters, Penelope. Okay, it's your gig. Stop the video, take your time and do it as fast as possible. And if you have done it, check with your friends. There's no rush. Now let's do it with me. Whose cars are these? Okay. They're Blake's cars. Whose wallet is this? Well, it's Blake's wallet. Whose magazines are these? They're Ryan's magazines. And whose watch is this? Well, it's Blake's watch. And whose glasses are these? They're... Ryan's glasses. Okay, as for exercise B, number one, it's my mother's birthday. Number two, that's her parents' house. Number three, I'm tired when I go home at the end of the day, not the day's end. For things we don't use, apostrophe S. Number four, those are my sister's friends. Number five, the door of the classroom is open. Okay, number six, those are the students' desk. As easy as that piece of a chocolate cake for you. Now, this one with me. Okay, whose or whose? <laughs> whose car is this? Who's that? The man with dark hair. Okay, so each one of them has a different meaning. For no number one, what do you say? Whose book is this? Number two, whose phone is that? Number three, who's, who is your favorite singer? Number four, who's Kevin's girlfriend? Number five, whose bag is this? And number six, who's their English teacher? Who is their English teacher? Very good. Okay, now look at these items. A bow tie, a watch, a bag, glasses, ring. Okay, now these are the celebrities that we're going to talk about. For example... Whose bow tie is this? It's William Smith's boy bow tie. Okay, take your time. Speak with your friends. I'll be waiting. There's no rush. Okay, so let's see. Who's what? Uh, let's see one by one. Whose uh, watch is this? It's Jake Glenhall's watch. Okay, whose bag is this? It's Carrie Mulligan's bag. Whose ring is this? Let's see, whose glasses are these? They're Meryl Streep's glasses. And whose ring is this? It's Mary Kate Olsen's ring. You got it. All the way to part two. Vocabulary. Everybody, family. And this is a family tree. Okay, now I need you to take your time and... Uh, 
look at these family trees and write the people's relation to Richard. For example, who's Richard's father? Let me show you. Or for example, who's Richard's mother? So this is Richard. So Gary is Richard's father. You see? Write sentences. Take your time. There's no rush. Okay? Take your time. Stop the video and do it with your friends. Okay? And if you have done it, well, listen and check with me. Let's do it. 4.3 The Family A. 7. John is Richard's grandfather. 8. Jennifer is Richard's grandmother. 2. Carol is Richard's mother. 1. Gary is Richard's father. 9. Sue is Richard's aunt. 10. Nick is Richard's uncle. 4. Kate is Richard's sister. 3. Stephen is Richard's brother. 13. Hugh is Richard's cousin. 13. Sarah is Richard's cousin. 14. Emma is Richard's wife. 5. Chloe is Richard's daughter. 6. Jake is Richard's son. 12. Ruby is Richard's niece. 11. Oliver is Richard's nephew. B. 1. My father and my mother. My parents. 2. My wife's mother and father. My parents-in-law. 3. My grandfather and my grandmother. My grandparents. 4. My son and my daughter. My children. 5. A husband and wife. A couple. Or a married couple. Very good, everybody. And these are some more family words for you. For example, my, my, my wife's mother, my mother-in-law, my husband's sister, my sister-in-law, my mother's new husband, my stepfather, my father's new wife, my stepmother. And the person I am in a relationship with, you can call that person your partner. Or, for example, you can say, she's my partner, he's my partner. That's it. So let's check you. All right? For example, your mother's mother, my grandmother. Let's do it together. Your father's brother. Who is that? Your uncle. Your brother's or sister's daughter. Daughter. Niece. Your aunt's or aunt's child. Well, your cousin. Your husband's or your wife's brother. My brother-in-law. And your niece's brother. My nephew. That's it. You can see the headphones. It's pronunciation. Okay, everybody. The letter A. Uh, A. Uh. Okay. Listen and repeat. 4.4. Up. A. Uh. Mother. Brother. Son. Husband. Uncle. Couple. Cousin. Very good. Very nice. Now, look. Look at these. Quack. Ah. Phone. O. Up. Come. Boot. Oo. Do. Yeah? So I need you to put these words under the light right column. Quack. Ah. Doctor. Phone. O. Don't. Up. Ah. Come. Boot. Oo. Do. Yeah? You got it. Take your time. Do it. And if you have done it, Listen and check with me. Let's go. 4.5 Clock 
Ah, doctor, hot, job, model, stop. Phone, oh, don't, go, home, no. Up, uh, come, London, money, one. Boot, oo, do, who. Okay, very nice. As easy as that. Time to listen. Look at the pictures. Mark, Celia, Carlos, and Daniel. Tim, Miriam, Alex, and Helen. Okay, so listen to Grace showing a friend photos on her phone. Who are Mark? Celia and Miriam. Okay, so first write the relationships. For example, Mark is Grace's boyfriend. Do the rest. Listen and complete it. Let's go. 4.6. Who's that? That's my boyfriend, Mark. He's good looking. How old is he? 26. What does he do? He's a medical student. He finishes this year, I hope. Where does he study? At Indiana University School of Medicine. Does he like it? Yes, he loves it. And this is my sister Celia and her kids. Ah, she looks like you. Yes, she does. How old is she? She's 35. How old are the kids? Carlos, the little one, is two. And Daniel, the older ones, uh, six, I think. They live in Chile, so I don't see them very often. Is that another sister? No, she's my sister-in-law, Miriam. She's married to my brother, Tim. What does Tim do? He's a lawyer, and Miriam's a teacher. How old are their children? Alex is four, and Helen's 13 months now. They're so cute. So, how about you and Mark? When's the wedding? Wedding? No thanks. I'm too young. All right, all right, very good. So, check your answers with your friends. So, Celia is Grace's sister and Miriam is Grace's sister-in-law. Now, I need you to listen again one more time, okay? And write extra information. For example, ages, jobs, where they live. Again, this is your gig. Let's do it. 4.6 Who's that? That's my boyfriend, Mark. He's good looking. How old is he? 26. What does he do? He's a medical student. He finishes this year, I hope. Where does he study? At Indiana University School of Medicine. Does he like it? Yes, he loves it. And this is my sister, Celia, and her kids. Ah, she looks like you. Yes, she does. How old is she? She's 35. How old are the kids? Carlos, the little one, is two. And Daniel, the older ones, uh, six, I think. They live in Chile, so I don't see them very often. Is that another sister? No, she's my sister-in-law, Miriam. She's married to my brother, Tim. What does Tim do? He's a lawyer, and Miriam's a teacher. How old are their children? Alex is four, and Helen's 13 months now. They're so cute. So, how about you and Mark? When's the wedding? Wedding? No thanks, I'm too young. All right, very good. Again, check your answers with your friends. So let's talk about Mark. So, he is good looking, he is 26 years old, he's a medical student at Indiana University School of Medicine, he loves it. Okay, what about Celia? She looks like Grace, she's 35, she has two sons, Carlos is two, Daniel is six, they live in Chile. And Miriam, she's married to Tim, Grace's brother, Tim is a lawyer, Miriam is a teacher, their children are Helen, 13 months old, and Alex, four. And that's it. And this is the last set for today's exercise. Take your phone out, 
show your family pictures to your friends. Who's that? Oh, that's Yolanda. She's my sister. How old is she? She's 15 years old. Okay? 18 years old. 25 years old. So, talk about your families. Get it? And that's the practice for today. Everybody, thank you for watching. You can download the slides in the description part. And if you have any questions, you can contact me and I'll be happy to answer all your questions. I will try to teach you every day. I apologize if there are some delays sometimes. I'm really busy, but I will try to do my best to publish on a regular basis. I want you to be your best. Write it down, make it non-negotiable, and make your goals happen. Discipline is the key. You have to do it no matter how you feel. What you need to do is totally different from what you feel. Put your feelings aside and get to it. You can be great, my friend. You just have to believe in yourself. See you. Bye-bye.